Hey guys, how's it going? Octopus here and welcome back to Union Cross. So we just got an announcement on Twitter about PvP and it looks good so far. It's not exactly what we want, but there's a lot of promise in uh, the notice that they wrote and I'm gonna talk about it. Before we do that though, like I wanna talk about how I've been with this game. Um, I've been with this game for exactly 839 days and that's not the max amount either i went on vacation with the wife uh, family thing so there's days that i missed logging in and playing not because i didn't want to just because i couldn't i couldn't help it so 839 days guys that is a huge dedication towards one game and i can say right now that no other mobile game has kept me here this long um of course there's been amazing moments with union cross and there's been really bad moments with union cross but in the end, it has a lot of things I really enjoy and really like and I want to see be improved and just getting better and better because it's a game I actually care about. It's a game I actually love and that's why I make videos like this where I talk about um, the bads and the goods of the game because I want to see improvement. I don't want to see the game to go down and neither do you guys or the community that still cares about the game. Um, so we did get a notice and I want to talk about the notice but just logging in today, I'm like, I've been playing this game for 839 days. That is incredible how much dedication towards one game you got to think about like you buy a ps4 game or something and you sit there and you play and you're like done with a couple months i've been with this game for a very long time and so is a lot of other people so we want to see the game improve we want to see communication and that's exactly what we got and it, it's gonna get better from this point i believe from the way this notice it says so hopefully hopefully it is but we're gonna go over a couple of things um that i want to see done for pvp I just wanted to reflect over how much time we spent on this game. All right, so the notice on Twitter, guys, let's look at it together. Basically, they tweeted out this yesterday. Hey, Keybleed Wielders, we have a short message regarding the PvP changes listed below. Please feel free to share your thoughts here regarding these changes. Thank you and have a great day. So straight off the bat, they're asking us to share our thoughts down below. So be reasonable, guys. Don't be angry talk to someone like you really want to resolve something don't go hot-headed don't go angry don't go spamming some stupid comments you want to be reasonable it is a person we're talking to and they're opening up communication so great things so far and i'm actually really happy for this um i read a couple things down below and i agree with a lot of them some of them aren't uh, really necessary and uh, a lot of them i really do like but we'll talk about that after let's go into the notice down below so First paragraph, recently we made a post stating the upcoming changes for PvP. So they said there's changes coming to PvP, which were recently implemented. So they were put in. So something that they talked about before were put in. And I'm guessing it's the lockout issue where they basically changed the lockout issue and the rewards. So that's what they're going to talk about here. So lockout issue, if you guys know what that is, it's uh, where... At the last hour of PvP, everyone just grabs someone's sister for five minutes, and then as you're trying to search, either someone has you or someone's busy, and the list is just cluttered with no matches, and you lose your ranks, and you get nothing out of it. It's a really bad system. So um, that right there, apparently, is implemented already what they talk about. They talked about, which is weird. I, I kind of wish they put a notice in the game because a lot of people don't go on Twitter. I feel like there should be more notices inside the game saying, hey, PvP has been updated. This is happening right now. Thank you guys. That's it. Put it inside the game because a lot of people don't go to Twitter. I know a lot of YouTubers, uh, we talk about Twitter a lot. We talk about the JP version, but a lot of people who sit there and don't do the whole following a YouTuber or following your Twitter account, they don't know what's going on. So they're playing your game and they have no clue these changes are happening. They have no clue what's really going on because it seems lately that they've been putting a lot more things on Twitter than actual notices inside the game or just no notice at all from either one. But uh, for now, that's just something I really think should be put in this notice right here should be inside uh, the game with a link to Twitter. Say, hey, if you have any suggestions, here's a link to our Twitter page. Boom. And then you also get like, I guess, free advertisement right there. Like, hey, Twitter, come follow us. Anyways, uh, this is an ongoing process. So your feedback regarding these changes will be greatly appreciated. So meaning everything that we're going to be doing now is an ongoing process. So whatever we what they say here is not finalized. It's not what's going to be and the only changes. They're going to slowly work with us to find the best solution for everyone. So in the next paragraph, PvP rank lock issue, like I was talking about. Some players were locked out, uh, quote unquote there, directly before the PvP ranking week reset. We have since adjusted it to minimize this from occurring, but please note that there may still be some locking out prior to the reset. We will continue to monitor this during the next few weeks. So 
they've already implemented this. Um, the lockdown issue there, I think what they did was that people on your list that are in battle are not going to show up and only people who are available will be there as long as they're not being targeted at the same time. So there also might be from the wording of this, there might be like a grace period. And if there isn't, this is kind of one suggestion I wanted to throw in here right now, since we're on this paragraph that once someone comes out of a battle, um, either attacking or not attacking, or at least from being attacked. So let's say I was targeted and I'm waiting and waiting the three or five minutes that it takes. After that, give me 30 seconds of not being able to be targeted again. So I have a chance to actually go find my own fight. And if I can't, then in 30 seconds, someone can come fight me. So at least a little lockout period for us. Even not even 30 seconds is pretty long. Give me like 10 to 15 seconds to find an opponent before someone hits me again. That's a huge thing. It might be implemented. I might be reading this wrong, but I feel like that's a good thing to have in there. A 15 second grace period or something like that. Um, so in the next paragraph, it says PvP ranking tiers and reward changes. So we have expanded the tier list for players to have more of an opportunity to receive rewards within their own brackets. We intended to monitor this system closely as well so that we can modify and or make changes as necessary. Please let us know what works and what doesn't. Doesn't. Please let us know what works and what doesn't everyone be civil and give your ideas down below say this doesn't work because of this and i feel it should be like this and they'll sit there and be like enough people said this and that looks like a good idea so what they mean by this right now guys it is implemented already but we can't notice it because it's a luxury pvp week on top of it and there's a lot of silver tickets down all the way to like rank 1350. Let me pull that up real quick with you guys in the game. And so of course top 3000 have like a crazy amount of gold tickets, which is high rankings equals high rewards. But you can already see here from 13,500 silver tickets, which on the normal, you wouldn't be seeing this much silver tickets at these ranks. You would have to fight really high to get these kind of silver tickets where you see 3000, there's one gold ticket, but then increases to two gold tickets, so on and so on. Now, I don't think it's going to be this high when it comes to the normal rankings that they're going to implement. I think it might be somewhere around the twos and stuff like that, but this might be a normal. If they keep this like this, 13,500 people getting one silver ticket and then 9,000 people getting two silver tickets every week this will add up so if you always make rank 9000 and getting yourself two silver tickets you by the end of the month you're gonna have eight silver tickets out of those eight silver tickets you can start making your copycat medals tier fives and sixes into seven stars your lingering wills and anything else you have in tier six and then maybe if you're super lucky some tier sevens and eight so silver tickets are good it's just nothing like a gold ticket but trust me i've had plenty of gold tickets where i've got like Tier 5, 5, 5, 6, 5, or 6, 6, 6, 5, 5, something like that, a combination, and not seeing any tier 7s or 8s. So just because someone gets a gold ticket, there's still RNG involved. So the more tickets of any color you guys have is good. Obviously, I want to see some gold tickets down here, maybe. Maybe something like top 5,000 can get at least one gold ticket. That'd be really good because there is a lot of players in the game, and only 5,000 people getting a gold seems reasonable 3000 that's 2000 less people being able to go there and sometimes you might get lucky so the whole point here is that this luxury week is covering up what they implemented so there might be next week once luxury week is gone this is still going to stay the same or somewhere around this like maybe 10,000 and so on will have silver and multiple silver tickets so there's going to be a change in there the tier rewards is another thing that they change and again it's a luxury week so that means more silver uh, more tickets in everything but in the point system we have pure bronze tickets right now and i feel like a lot of this would be fixed like a lot of the like the complaining and the issue with power not even the complaint there's the issue with power this would be great if this was something like silver i mean uh bronze ticket bronze ticket silver ticket silver ticket gold ticket like that would change so much like that right there having multiple gold and silver tickets in here or just at least one gold and one silver for a certain amount of points 2000 is not that bad my free to play counts at 1100 i just stay near the top like 10,000 place and i fight people who are my power level and then near the end i shoot down to the bottom but having a silver and having a gold as a top two point rewards would change a lot as well and would take away from a lot of the waiting to try to get these tickets we're going to run out of tier ones twos and threes and our bronze tickets are just going to fill up like crazy so 
uh, having that silver and that gold ticket there I think would really change a lot of things and hopefully it does but right now there is four tickets to get in there maybe by next week they'll be like here's a silver ticket at least at least a silver ticket I know gold might be pushing at this point, but a gold would be great for 2,000 points. It's not a big deal. It's one gold ticket, and it gives everyone the incentive to actually play the PvP to get those points. Actually play it, not just put a naked keyblade, tap away just to get their dailies done. So, that's the, the, the tier rewards they got there. Um, the next thing on this notice here, we've got on the bottom, it says, Please note that these are not necessarily permanent changes. We ask that you please keep this in mind as we refine the PvP system to reflect the desires of our community. Thank you. They are asking us for feedback. They are asking us for patience as they change everything to accommodate the community. Everybody. Free to play, VIP to play, um, pay to play, where people just buy a lot of jewels. Everyone, the community, it's got to work for free to play players and it's got to work for people who pay for the game. It's got to work for the community. So be patient with them, give your feedback at a reasonable um, way, not yelling at them or freaking out. Just, just be reasonable with this because they actually gave us communication back and that is amazing. That is what we want. That is the number one thing with any kind of game. If they talk to us, we know they care. If they listen, we know it's going to be good. Communication is so important. Don't screw it up, guys. <laughs> so, down below, I'm pretty sure you guys are going off already talking about what you want. Um, what I really want, guys, out of all of this, I think main thing is tickets because seven stars are so important right now especially if you want to compete in pvp and there has to be a certain balance but i believe that point system should have a way to get tickets i think silver tickets shouldn't have tier threes in them because bronze tickets already have that and like i said tier ones twos and threes are going to have so many fairies of those just being inventory garbage that just sits there so tier three should be just in bronze tickets and i think that silver tickets should be tier fours and higher because Getting to tier four and seeing tier threes right across is very discouraging to continue playing PvP, to continue playing the game because you waited this whole entire week for that one silver ticket and essentially all you got was a bronze ticket. So I feel like that's a huge flaw to have tier threes in there because right now we're in tier five poles. So I feel like if it's the time to change, it's now, now that tier fives are more important than tier fours make tier fours minimum in silver tickets that's something i really want to see um, regarding the lockout issue hopefully that doesn't really screw up a lot of people the main thing that a lot of people are worried about is when they're attacked they lose thousands of rankings especially when you're in the higher higher rankings and when i mean higher i mean like 10,000 numbers not like top 100 when you're like 5,000 3,000 2,000 it is so quick to be dragged out that you lose all your rankings and with five tries if you don't wait till bedtime basically when you're supposed to be asleep or waking up for your job because the hours are so awkward um, you get pulled out so quickly so I feel like the ranking should be a little bit different if you get defeated you shouldn't replace the 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 big jump there you should move a couple spaces like 10 tiers i mean 10 rankings or 20 rankings not from place 1000 all the way to like 3000 i don't know if that's actually part of there but i've seen big jumps because you can get pulled 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 and pulled and just keep getting pulled but that also goes with how strong your keyblade is if you're strong enough you shouldn't get pulled but i feel like sometimes people get lucky or they see your name enough times and they look for it to fight you again because they've seen your setup and they make a counter setup to it which j just keeps pulling people out so the main thing guys is those tickets in the points rewards uh silver tickets no tier threes and everything else we kind of can work around there is other things i want to talk about but those are the probably probably the two biggest things for me is the points rewards and the silver tickets removing tier threes would be great um but that is communication guys that is that is something amazing to see i actually really really happy with this um good job everyone with the communication telling them how we feel about pvp we finally got an answer out of it and i'm really really proud of you guys so if you guys want to leave anything else down below i will be posting this video live um i might be linking it to my twitter as well maybe send it to them as well on their twitter next time they talk about it to be like hey i talked about it here's a community in the comment section so down below Put some reasonable things down there. Be civil about it. And let's try to make PvP the best it can be. The best it can be for everybody. 
If you guys did enjoy the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Keep on smiling, and I'll see you in the next one.